Hi, I'm Laurie Jaquila. I'm a writer from the United States staying at the Passaporta residence here in Brussels. Um, this beautiful space and this beautiful city and I'm so grateful to Passaporta and to City of Asylum in Pittsburgh for giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, since I've been in Brussels, I've been working on a novel um, where my character, my main character, is very disconnected from home and she's searching for language um, to connect to other people and to sort of map her interior landscape and exterior landscape. And I hadn't really thought that through when I came to Brussels, but um, my, my experiences here have all been about language and the generosity of people with language and how we try to communicate with each other. Um, I don't speak French, I don't speak Dutch. Um, I wish I did, <laughs> I try in, in words. Um, but people have been so generous in, in speaking to me and, and you know we've tried to understand each other and I love that and the beauty of that and the open heartedness of that. Um, I also ended up going to the Magritte Museum while I was here and I learned a lot about Magritte who I loved but didn't know much about and about his fascination with language and how words shape our perceptions of the world and how a pipe is not a pipe or the word pipe is not a pipe and that's really helped to inform the work that I've been doing um, on my novel where my character is struggling to find a way to talk about her way of seeing the world so that was really incredibly wonderful. Um, being in the space has been wonderful too. There's such a history of writers here and I've been reading of their work as I've been here too, which has been amazing. I read Patrick McGuinness's Other People's Countries, which he wrote while he was here, and that, that was really inspirational to me. So the whole experience has been um, absolutely incredible, and I'm so grateful to be here and so grateful to Brussels um, and everything that is here um, and the way it's changed me already. Thank you.